before you watch this p-raw video i kind of get in a bit of a pickle what i'm saying sometimes that's just me anyway so we decided to do a bit of a rebuild i have um some fresh seals never actually had these uh old say old but very reliable mono m4s apart before they've been totally reliable gave them a few bleeds and it really breaks like this when you when you've bled them and all the air's out and everything's running running sweet you needn't really touch them for three or four years at least they should just run as as they should um i'm going to check the seals i'll probably keep those as spares we're going to put the new ones in they give you some uh some cap seals which are here on there a couple of o-rings on there and then for each piston which goes into here one two hence m4 three four seals in there and they give you a, a bleed caps uh fresh bleed cap cover which is kind of nice i guess not not totally needed but it's there just in case you've lost it um but you could rob one off of anything really uh the main objective for this video was i'm not going to show you how to bleed them and all that because there's plenty of other tips uh and tricks and people telling you about alignment and that how to do all that sort of stuff um, def definitely a good idea to put some old handlebars in a in a small engineering vice or whatever size engineering vice you have and set the, the reservoir up like that. The point I wanted to make out was obviously the uh, pistons on where you can remove the caps on this side, dead easy to remove and dead easy to push out. The problem is those are the ones you're not going to want to do first obviously. You need to do these ones on this side because as you can see there's no cover so you need to pump them out with whatever fluid whatever's left in the reservoir so you know you're gonna have to re-bleed for your brakes if you get it wrong because one piston could pop out on one side hence mine nearly did and i popped it back in using tire lever and where's my other tire lever and that tie lever as well. well you don't want to be putting screwdrivers and things in there because you can damage things so we've done that and then what i did the uh pistons on this side we had as you can see that's off optics like behind a bar holds wine bottles and beer bottles up all that sort of stuff whatever vodka and this one here and we uh sandwiched flat plate in there on that side and those pistons will go down deeper into the caliper so behind this plate here which I'm going to just let drop now like that we had these washers on top of those pistons so when I leap when I um compressed it off of the, the fixing mount there as you can see it pushed them back down into the caliper so when you squeeze the lever to get these pistons out it just gives you that little bit extra i was quite violent with it as far as pumping that lever you know you really need to get it up in there and you, you kind of only get one chance with it again if you if you pop only one out and you can't get this one out um you just say you don't want to be like trying to lever it out and that you're just gonna have to refill the the system really and try it again but for some it's going to last a long time it's all good from the DIY point of view or however a mechanic does it in a shop everyone kind of messes up and you just got to get them out which we have so there you go P were all wins we've got them out um, but yeah you need to be careful I just uh, I got some other bits of flat metal on here and I've had ready but this tiny piece here was good as well it's thinner as you can see than that one just gives you that extra millimeter more to push down those come pistons which is important and whilst we're doing this actually let's just see if i can i should be able to they're not hard at all I need to push them out not hard at all 
Got to have something the right size though. P roll. Those real videos. What are we going to use? Hold up. All right, we cut it, but we're not cutting the other bit. We're going to keep these videos real. Something like that. Just push them out. Just like that. Ta -da, ta -da. There you go. Just remember, plastic on metal. Um, got my little cloth here where we'll just lay everything out. Right. Again, we're just rolling, we're not cutting, we're not trying to make it look all flashy like some people do. Which can kind of be nice, but I'm just like everyone else out there. Just a normal person doing a trying to do a job and servicing his brakes in the garage. So once I've took that banjo off, and uh, I'll undo that and give the thread a clean up and that. Got a bare caliper. I'll obviously have to get a, a pick or something of some kind in there and get the seals out. And then we'll give those a good clean out, get some uh, brake cleaner or alcohol cleaner on there or something and just rebuild it. Say, the main, the main um, thing with this video was showing you how to get, or idea, how to get the calipers out on this side, which can be a pain. All right, so compress, 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 and just pump the lever. Like, you'd be pumping that lever like mad, like that. <laughs> so if you're playing some computer game or something, and you'll get enough, like, pressure in there, especially if one pops out more than the other one, then you lose a bit of fluid. And then, like I was, call it lucky if you want, they pop right out. Anyway, just a helpful video, I guess. If you did get some help from that, then thumbs it up. Um, after watching all the other videos on YouTube which I've gained a lot of knowledge from until I've done it myself that's what I discovered P war over and out yabble 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 another video done just wanted to say I didn't include these in the video just are to remove the piston caps alright Hope tools. I'll put some photos and stuff at the end of the video so you can see. Hope you get something from this vid. Bye. Bonus footage always like to bring them bonus footage. I decided with that adapter, which is that, the 203mm disc on the front, we've upgraded from 180, we're going to run the M4 on the front. Shouldn't be an issue with that. I've heard people have done it. Mainly, or, um, let me try and think running it with on the downhill bike with the mono six but should be fine we shall test ride see how we get on but we're going to shorten the um the cable on that or the hydraulic line rather but yeah just want to share that i may do like an update video with it all fitted and everything after a few weeks of test see how we get on but uh, yeah, P over and out with mishmash video, I guess. So, you know, if it was any good, I think it was all right. Give it one of them and go and have a cup of tea and ride your bike. That makes sense, doesn't it? So, here we are at the end of the video. Again, more bonus footage, things you're going to need. I'm the kind of person which can pretty much do and have a go at anything on his bike. Uh, even rebuild wheels and make wheels but that takes time so as far as that goes I usually just order them from people but everything else we get stuck in so you're gonna need some of that you're gonna need for cleaning things up some of that you're gonna need loads of rags and things uh, for bleeding the brakes you're gonna need things like this and my syringes are not in shot 
you're going to need various bits of metal and clamps and tie levers and shims and a vice. I mean, you can improvise and use other things, but the amount of stuff I've tweaked and modified to be able to get around working on my bikes is absolutely amazing. Easily done. So, you know, if you're not up for this sort of stuff, obviously take it to the bike shop because it can get a bit techy. Uh, yeah, that's what we want to share. All that sort of stuff. Lay it all out so you know where you are. There's the old seals. There's the new seals. As you can see, a compass we use just or whatever, just to pick the seals out easy. Um, take your time. Be clean. Remember stuff. Take photos of things and notes if you need to. Look at that. What a beauty. But the problem is now we need to put this lever because this was a front brake, on to the M4. Not a problem though. Right, on the ball side, the easiest way i found to put the seals back in after cover them, covering them in Hunter's silicon is to put a piece of alley on the back, which I use to press the pistons in and around and all that. And you push the, uh, the seal right down against that and then it can pop out the other end every time. So then you can just seat it with, um, I've been using that. Okay, very easy to do that way.